This is it, fans. The wait is over. Tonight, deep in the heart of basketball season, two of the area's top programs collide in what could and should be a storybook classic in the making. Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the broadcast live from a jam-packed Oak Creek High School. My name is Christian Bustler, and I, for one, can't wait for this game to get underway. I knew at the season's onset, looking at the schedule, that this would be huge for both sides, but I never imagined all that's riding on it. One program will prove it's legit this evening, as the ever-loyal Night Vision crew and I bring you the Oak Creek Knights and the Milwaukee Pious Popes. Regardless of who comes out on top tonight, this game will have huge implications for the remainder of the season, and more importantly, the sectional eight state tournament, where these two teams will most surely meet again. I'll step out for a few minutes for tonight's starting lineups and our national anthem. Gentlemen, would you please stand to sing our national anthem tonight by Jenna Groviak, CC Concepcion. 
Francesca Gale, Katie Dax, Jack Bauman, Ray Gonzalez, Chance Osgood, and Shaquan Graham. Let's give it up for tonight's starters. First, the Lady Hopes and Pies, coached by Scott Herrick. At forward, a six foot one, junior number 21, Julia Morsari. At guard, a five foot seven, sophomore, number 22, Terry Fender. At forward, a six foot one, senior. There's a boatload of background on this matchup, so let's dive right in. Let's start with the good guys. Oak Creek has been riding high for much of the season as they come into this game at 7-2 overall, 2-2 two two in the SEC. Their top exploits included victories over then-ranked teams Brookfield Central and West Dallas Central in their last two before Christmas. Then they hit the highway and brought home the title in the Ashwaubenon Ho Holiday Classic with victories over the host and Oshkosh West. More recently, they traveled to Racine Horlick on Friday and walked away a 44-34 winner against a tough Rebel squad. However, I do believe that the most critical points thus far for the Knights have come in their two losses, coming at the hands of Racine Case and Franklin. In both games, the Knights had leads going into the fourth quarter, but they were dominated in the final period. Against Case, they withered under the press. Against Franklin, they struggled down the stretch with free throws and rebounds. Now, the main event. Ashley Luke against Kelly Frings. And the draw goes to Oak Creek. Weissflow gonna take it to the left. 
in the absence of Angela Rodriguez this evening. Now down low to running from Luke. Can't get it to drop. Frings with the rebound. It's what she does best. Now across half court. Up to Brasari. Brasari along the left. Kicks it back to the point to Bender. Terry Bender, that is. There's two of them. Over to Tierra Bender. Along the right side. Back up top to Frings. And she took a step with it. That's a travel. I haven't been informed exactly of what is ailing Rodriguez, but she is not in uniform tonight, and that will definitely be a huge blow to Oak Creek. We'll have to see what goes on. Now Stasinski along the left side, dumps it down low to running, runs, spins, tries to kick it back out to the point, but overshoots her man, or girl I should say, Leonardi, and it'll go back to the Popes. Now Bender will bring it across. Dish off to Basari. Now tries to go all the way across court to Tierra Bender, but too tall. She needed to be Fring's size on that one. <laughs> Pius coming with the full court press. That, that was Oak Creek's demise Again, in the game against Racine Case. They had, the, the, they had a six point lead in that fourth quarter, but it melted in an instant after case coach Willie Maryland turned on the press. And traveling violation against Oak Creek, still no score, 6.55 to go here in the first quarter of play. Now I was just informed of what is ailing Rodriguez. She is in uniform tonight, I correct myself. But she has her shoe off and her ankle is on ice, that can't be good. The SEC's leading score at 17 points per game. Losing her will definitely be a ghastly blow to this team. Now Frings, a bit long on the shot. Luke and Leonardi together for the rebound. Now Weissflo going up against Bender. Bender, solid defense. Weissflo kicking it over to Luke in the corner. Ashley trying to go cross court, finds running. Running at the top of the key, back to Weissflo. She can't get away from Bender, trying to get the open along the key. Now Leonardo gonna drive, she'll go up, off glass. Bit too strong, rebound comes down to Kelly Frings. 6-12 to go in the first, still no score. Here's Terry Bender, dish off to Frings. Dish off to Lynn, Lynn back cross court to Bersari. Bersari back to Bender. Terry Bender, the top. Gonna drive against Weissflo, now dish off to Frings. Frings wants to drive. And tries dishing off to Bender. She fumbles it a bit, but retains possession. And Tierra Bender, gonna spin, goes up. And it rattles out, rebound, rebound. Comes down to Ashley Luke. That'll be key, controlling the glass. Can't allow second chance buckets, gotta get second chance opportunities if you're Oak Creek. Now Stasinski in the corner, guarded by Bender. Now Weiss flow, along the top of the key. Can't get away from Bender again. Now the dish off, back to Stasinski. Tries to go low to running, but can't do it. Now, Leonardi. With a long shot from the top, way short. Rebound comes down to Tierra Bender. She has Borsari to the left, but she'll take it herself. She goes up off glass, too strong. Rebound back to Luke. Still no score, and we're almost three minutes into the contest. But Pius plays a rather defensive game. They only allow slightly over 34 points per game thus far. Now Leonardi, nearly stripped by Borsari, but retains possession. Now Weissflow at the top of the key. Sydney a little trapped against Bender. Now she'll drive, gets open, goes up, and can't get it to drop, but draws the foul. She'll get two from the stripe. And there you have Angie Rodriguez on the bench. That is a sight none of us wanted to see. Honest to goodness. And Weiss Flo's first attempt rattles out. Free throws, rebounds. Possession, fundamentals are key in a game of this magnitude. They gotta take advantage of every opportunity they get because they will be few and far between. And the second one is perfect and there'll be no shutouts tonight. Now technically Pius hasn't scored yet so you never know. We're over three minutes in already. Now Bender in the corner, Tierra Bender that is. Tries to get Lynn but calls her off. And we have a hand check. 
We have a hand check against Terry Bender. That'll be the second foul against Pius. No Creek will retain possession. They're turning up the press. Coach Herrick's got it up his sleeve. Now Weiss flow. Normally it's Rodriguez that directs traffic, but somebody's got to step up. And it's Weiss flow tonight. Dish down low to Loop. Up off glass, a bit strong. Loop gets her own rebound and dishes it in. That is, that is the relentless pursuit of Ashley Luke that this team will so desperately need in the absence of Rodriguez. Now Bender up at the top of the key. Dish down low to the other Bender. Tierra Bender down. Down to Terry. And she goes up and is blocked initially by Stasinski, if I'm not mistaken. And now we have a foul against Rebecca Running. Bender at the line for two. Terry Bender, the younger of the two. She's only a sophomore, Altier is a, a junior. But she does, does have uh, equivalent stats, if you know what I mean. A little sibling rivalry there. And she gets them both to drop. Full court press, turned on, and Tierra Bender gets a hand to it. And Coach Lucknick is not pleased at all. All right, here's Tessa at inbound, trying to find Sydney, and she does. Weiss flow to bring it across half court. Well, if she could get to half court, Tierra Bender's all over her like a cheap suit. Ashley Luke down in the corner. Ashley gonna try and drive. There's a jump pass over to Stasinski. She's got Leonardi in the corner, but can't find her. Stasinski tries to do a double spin move, can't execute it. Now Luke in the lane. Up, can't get it to drop. And she takes a hard foul. No, no foul there. I don't see what happened there. She must have, if she didn't clip someone's foot, that had to be a foul. But they don't, they don't call it, and they call traveling. It'll go back to Pius. Now drive to the lane. Bender in the corner. Get the pass from Basari. Now Bender tra trapped along the perimeter. Two Oak Creek players run into each other and Bender goes in and scores. Little miscommunication there between Leonardi and Luke, if I'm not mistaken, as Maggie Wilkie prepares to come in off the bench. Nice inbounds play to Stasinski. She picks up her dribble, dishes off to Weiss Flow. Now Sydney throws a spin move on Tierra Bender. Dish down low to Stasinski. Four to three Pius, just under three minutes to go here. And Luke goes up off glass, too strong. Rebound, fight, down low. And we have a jump ball, possession will go to Pius. First substitutions of the game. Number 10, Amanda Braun, and number 24, Katie Golomski coming in for Pius, while Maggie Wilkie replaces running for Big Blue. Under 2.45 to go here in the first quarter. It's been very slow scoring wise, but there has been a boatload of action otherwise. Terry Bender along the perimeter, going up against Luke. Here's the drive, dish down low to Frings. Frings tries to call a timeout, but it's not granted, and the Knights will take it off the jump. Full court press, dialed up by Coach Herrick. He's watched the film, he knows. Other teams have instituted the press, but most of the time it's been too late. The only times it's worked were the Franklin and Case games, where both coaches dialed it up at just the right time. Sweet around the back move by Weissflow as she dishes, dishes to Stysinski. A few too many S's there, if you ask me. Now dish off to the left to Leonardi. Leonardi wants to go low, low to Luke, but can't get there. And an errant pass is intercepted by Amanda Braun. She's on the run. Got Frings. Can't find her. Excuse me, that was actually Vasari that couldn't find the handle. Regardless, Pius retains possession. Terry Bender directing traffic at the top of the key, defended by Weissflow. Now dish off to Braun. Braun going down low. And a block right there, the shot by Golomsky. Ashley Luke gets credit. 140 to go, Knights down by one here in this first quarter of play. Weissflow throws a spin move and gets fouled by Bender. That'll be her second, team second. As Chandler Gilmeister prepares to check into the game for Abby Stasinski. 
In the meantime, Bender and Lynn will sit down for Pius. Full court press on the inbounds even from the side as Leonardi takes the inbound from Gelmeister. Four to three, Pius. Minute 30 to go. Dish off to Weissflow. Weissflow can't find the handle though. Might have had something. Weissflow going left and right. Can't get away from Bender though. Now Leonardi's trapped. Tessa dishes off to Ashley. She's out of position. She can't do much from there. Trying to drive. Can't really do much. Dish down low to Weissflow. Up off glass and good. Now that's how you make something out of nothing if you're Ashley Luke. Now cross court feed for Frings for the three. And she's short, and that pass nearly goes out of bounds. Excuse me, it was a shot. But right there is Katie Golomsky, and she lays it in for a deuce. 50 seconds to go. Pope six, Knights five. Battle of the one syllables. Luke throws a spin move, trying to get across midcourt. Nearly a backcourt violation right there. Now Weiss flow, directing traffic. Going back to her left at the top. Taking her merry time. Now here's Maggie Wilkie. Dishing back to Leonardi. Trying to work the perimeter. Can't get much going though. Weiss flow. Can't get open. Can't, she can't unleash that brutal three-point shot if she can't get open. They got to run more screens, more picks, more just about anything. In the meantime, we have five seconds closely guarded called against Oak Creek. Apparently she wasn't moving enough. Now uh, here's Tierra Bender along the perimeter. Different Bender directing traffic here. Eight seconds to go, and she travels at the last second. 7.3 to go. Chance for a last shot by Oak Creek. Probably want to put it in the hands of Weissflow, who's best at shooting from long range. Gilmeister having trouble. Gets it into Luke, six seconds. Luke will charge up the floor, trying to find Weissflow. Weissflow. Gets the shot away, but not before Luke travels with 1.4 seconds to play. Now Pius with a chance for a long heave at the buzzer. Now it'll be Tierra Bender. She'll heave it, and that shot won't count anyway. That'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. A very strongly defended, very disciplined first quarter of play. Lowest one I've seen thus far. Score, Pius 6, Oak Creek 5. The last three are as good as the first. We're in for an awesome game. We'll be right back with more from Oak Creek High School right here on Night Vision. And we're back as Amanda Braun prepares to inbound for Pius. She'll inbound to Tierra Bender. Bender, gonna bring it across half court, directing traffic from the top. Wanted to go back to Braun, but they're trapped. She's trapped, no open space, and it goes out of bounds. Off the hands of Braun. Oh, Creek ball, great defense right there. They set up a trap, made her pick up her dribble, and executed it to perfection. And Sydney Weissflow is tackled for a five yard loss before the inbounds. Tierra Bender, whoa. Now, who's the hockey player here, you or me? Yeah, me. Again, struggling with the inbound, but they find Luke. Luke, gonna bring it up fast. Dish, back to Leonardi. Leonardi drives, but she travels. They're gonna call it tight. Some crews do, 
Others don't. This is one that does. Second quarter just underway. Still Pope six, Knights five. As Braun pump fakes once. Now dish back out. Back over to Frings for the tray. She got it. More trouble at the inbound, but they get it into Wilkie finally. Dish up to Luke. Luke gonna run it herself. Dish off to Weissflow. Sydney trying to get something happening at the top. Dish off to Chandler Gilmeister. The sophomore drives, tries to go to Luke, but she wasn't expecting it. Another turnover. 7-11 to go here in the second. Nine to five is our score. Now Bender at the top yet again. Bender gonna dish off to the far side for Golomski. Golomski back. Now Frings at the top, she'll drive. And she goes up, off glass, and it rims out. Rebound down to Gilmeister. Now Ice Flow up to Leonardi. Tessa trying to get something set up against Braun. She'll drive, but come back. And a dangerous pass to Wilkie. Almost got intercepted. Leonardi is being hounded. Gilmeister at the far side. Gilmeister coming back to the middle for Luke. 6.30 to go here in the second. Not a lot happening. Oak Creek's having trouble getting into a rhythm without their playmaker. Tip pass into the backcourt. Now Weissflow will drive. Dish down low to Wilkie. Up off glass. Looked like she got hit from behind, but no call. Now Braun dishing it far side. Now back to Bender. Bender over to Borsari. Now down low to Golomski. Now backside to Frings. Frings going down low. Just barely handled by Borsari. Over to Golomski. Down back to Bender. Bender with the jump shot. And she's a bit long. And it goes off Pius. Oak Creek will take over. Good defensive sequence right there. Forced him into a tough shot. And Frings and Tierra Bender will sit down in favor of Tierra Bender and Maria Lynn. That's the one thing Pius has. They have five players that are six foot or more. So no matter who they take out, Ashley will have her hands full. Mark my words. It's one of the things I told her before the game. She's got to play hard, but play smart. She can't afford to foul out tonight. She fouls out, and eh, we're just about, well, toast. Now Wilkie at the top. Back to Weissflow, Weissflow. Gonna come back to the middle. Got Leonardi open, but can't really do much. Now Abby Stasinski gonna drive herself. Tries a spin move, and they'll call a foul on the floor. What do we got? Now running will check back into the game to give Luke a breather. Much needed one, she's played this entire first half. There's no sight I'm sorrier, sorrier to see than our point guard with a bad wheel. Pardon the pun. Not a good thing. Now Leonardi on the inbounds, tight defense there. Up top for running, running, kicks out. Stasinski, pump fakes. Stasinski, gonna dribble against Maria Lynn. Lynn manages to poke check it, just barely. And timeout called by Mr. Lucknick. Wait. Nope, it didn't get it off in time. They call the five seconds closely guarded. And there we have it. Another turnover. Can't let this happen much longer. Terry Bender back in the game, seeing what she can do. Dumps it off to the far side for Amanda Braun. Braun, gonna dish it off to Bursari. Over to Far side, that's Golomski, and she nails the tray. Oak Creek's gonna have to do something and do it quick. Now running, gonna hand it off to Weissflow. Sydney gonna on the run. Can't seem to drive though, now she does, but can't get the down low feed, and it's a breakaway for Bursari. She lays it up and in. Timeout called by Mr. Lucknick. And with 4.36, to go in the second, Pius has blown it open. 
The score, Popes 14, Knights 5. Let's see if the Knights can do anything when we come back. Out of the timeout. Let's see if Oak Creek can get anything going. The players on the floor now are Leonardi, Luke, running Weissflo and Stysinski. Stysinski gets it into Weissflo, but now it's a trap. Just manages to sneak it through to Stysinski. Now running, dishes off to Leonardi. She'll drive herself up, gets nothing but air. Luke on the rebound, she gets stuffed, but fouled by Maria Lynn. And she is not pleased, to say the least. That's five team fouls against Pius. That's, a, that's one of the few bright spots thus far for Oak Creek. See, if they could get some easy free throw chances late in this quarter, that'd be huge. Can't afford that. Ashley blows the first. Come on, Ash, we need a point here. Gotta get a point down the floor every time. At least if we wanna get back in it. And she misses them both. That is critical. Can't keep doing that. Let the Popes off the hook there. Bender at the top of the key. Coach Lucknick trying to rally his defense. Giving the Popes a little too much room along the perimeter. Amanda Braun tries a three. She's a bit long, gotta get that board. And they do, running, collects the loose ball. And Weissflo hits the foot of Stysinski. And they gotta get across half court. Oof. Timeout called by Mr. Lucknick, just in the nick of time. I've heard a dribble of the ball off your foot, but off your teammate's foot? Oh man. That was hard to watch. But they maintain possession, got the stop, got to get some points. 3.55 to go here in the second. 14 to five, Pius leads. Now Leonardi to inbound here. Again, the full court press instituted by Pius. Inbound goes to Luke. Luke gets it deflected, but manages to get it to Weissflo. Weissflo, gonna bring it up to the top of the key. Now cut to our left, goes off the knee of Bender and out of bounds, but apparently it was touched by Stasinski before it crossed. It'll go over to Pius. Another critical mistake on offense. This simply cannot be. Bender gonna bring it across again. Dish to the left. Rigolowski. Now dish back to Bender. Bender going up top for Braun. Amanda Braun for Lynn. Lynn going far side for Frings. Kelly Frings cuts back, dishes it off to Braun. Back to Bender at the top. They're gonna slow this game down a little, see if they can get that open shot. Crowd trying to get it back into this game. As the pass to Braun's a bit behind her, but they get a load of Frings. And she travels. Lucky there, they might have had to foul her. Now Leonardi to inbound. Full court press by Pius has given the Knights fits so far. Weissflo manages to sneak free. Sydney gonna bring it across. She's done a pretty good job so far, but 
Got to say, without the crossing guard figure in Rodriguez, it simply hasn't been the same as Sydney takes a hard hack drive in the paint. Let's see what they call here. They will call it a shooting foul. I believe they called it against Amanda Braun. Yes, they did. That's a six foul against Pius. Knights will shoot for the remainder of the half. On second thought, they did not call it on the shot. They called it on the floor. That's big. Leonardi looking for an outlet, gets it into Luke. Here's a handoff to Leonardi. Leonardi dishes off to Weiss. Flow looked like Sydney had a lane. Gonna try. And gets it to go. Booyah! Now here's Bender. Tierra, excuse me, Terry Bender, number 22. And number 32 getting a little confusing. Frings gets open down low, guarded by the Twin Towers. Now a three from the corner goes for Julia Bersari. Now they answer. Leonardi gets it into Luke. Ashley got to try and get something going. Leonardi going to bring it across. Going to drive the lane herself. Going up and comes up short. Rebound comes down and a long outlet feed for Bender. Bender gets trapped, but goes up, comes up short. Luke dishes off to Weiss Flow, just over two minutes to go. Knights in the bonus. And a foul off the ball against Pius. I believe it's against Maria Lynn. And that'll be the seventh team foul against Pius and Sydney will shoot the one and one. Critical free throw here, you can't miss the front end. Phew, got it to go. Gotta get this one and get a stop. That's critical, gotta try to build some momentum going into halftime. And shoots it beautifully. Knights finally in double digits. 17 to 10 is our score. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Here's Tierra Bender back on the floor, taking it to her right. They're trying to open up the three point shots and down low opportunities. Frings tries the three and gets it in off the window. They are killing us from three point range. Now Luke eludes the pressure from Frings. Knights down by 10. Luke just off to running, running with the jumper. Gets it. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. Knights better go into a 3-2 zone here. They gotta cut off that outside shot. That's all Pius is going to and they're having a lot of success. Frings, down low to Lynn. Lynn finds Bersari, back out to Bender. She's open for the tray. And she gets fouled by Ashley Loop. Three shots, ah, jumping Jehoshaphat. Oh. Bender at the line for three. Knights crowd surprisingly quiet as though they can't believe what they see. And Aaron Stowicki will come onto the floor for Pius replacing Golomski. Bender goes three for three from the strike. Pius has their biggest lead of the night. It is 11 points. And they don't appear to be letting up anytime soon. Oak Creek better flip a switch and flip it quick. Here's Sydney going down low for Luke. Out to Leonardi. She fakes, goes up. Off glass, can't get it to drop. That is unlucky there. Now here's Frings with a minute to play. Bender, kick out. Stawicki for the tray, finally a miss, and Stysinski gets the board. Abby gonna bring it across half court, this is something she's not accustomed to. Abby going low for Leonardi, Leonardi, low for Luke. Te Ashley at the top of the key now, she's out of position, now she'll drive, up off glass and good. Phew. 31 seconds to play. Pius will probably slow it down, trying to limit Oak Creek opportunities. 
Coach Herrick directing traffic from the bench, telling Bender to slow it down. 20 seconds to go, nine point lead for the Popes. Tierra Bender, slow, slow, 10 seconds to play. Bender gets her edge, goes up, off glass, can't get it to drop, three seconds to play, two. And Ashley, they're not gonna get a shot off here. And that'll bring us to the end of the first half. It was a brutal half, but it's not over yet. Our score at the break, Milwaukee Pius 23, Oak Creek 14. We'll be back with the second half and more after the interval, right here on Night Vision, your home for everything Oak Creek. And we're back, ready to start the important half. Oak Creek with the ball, off the possession arrow. Now Sydney will dish off to running, running with the jumper. No good, get that board, get that board. That's what we like to see. Sydney with the second chance, but she's being hounded at the top. Now Frings trips up Stasinski. And that'll be the first foul of our half. I hope Mr. Lucknick's got some magic up his sleeve because after that 18 to eight, you heard right, second quarter, things had better improve. And there's another foul, Tara Bender. That's her second, team second. That's one way to, get, to build some momentum. Draw some fouls and do that. Rebecca running on the dish. Good way to start. Now Terry Bender will bring it across. Now heading away from my table at the end of the floor toward the north end of the gym. Now dishes off to Tierra. Tierra again squeezed a bit. Frings along the perimeter and wide open is Maria Lynn. And she's way short. Got to get that board and running does. Very nice, very nice. Now here's Weissflow going to bring it across again. She's going to have to pull. She's gonna have to unleash that A-Rod insider. Can she do it? We shall find out. And Luke's down low feed is denied. Now she'll take it herself. Dish off to Stasinski, she can't handle it. Stasinski back to running, running at the top, going anywhere. And Weissflo can't handle it. Bit sloppy, minute 10 into the third. Whoa, Knights can't seem to hang on to anything. It's like a greased pig out there. And running gets stymied. Now Luke gonna drive herself from the line, yes! They've cut it to five. That's what you gotta do, little by little. Just chop away. Don't try to bite off more than you can chew and get it back all at once, because you can't. You simply can't. You gotta do what they're doing right now. Gotta play solid defense. Now, that's something you can't afford. Lynn gets the offensive board, but Luke makes a nice defensive play to knock it away from Frings. This is the moment in the game where I stand most of the broadcast. I don't know why, but I, I just always, I, I just never took a liking to my chair. Uh, either way, it's a close game. Good city. Why not stand? Now Bosari going cross court for Tierra Bender. Bender tries to drive, and she walked with it. Another defensive stop. Little by little, what do I say? See if Mr. Lucknick can make that halftime speech pay off. And Stasinski breaks into the clear. Good break of the press right there by Oak Creek. Now Luke will give it to Weissflow and she'll take it across the big OC. Right, right at the midcourt line, hounded by Bender. But don't step on the line, Sid. And she manages to get it to running. Luke, gonna take a mid-range jumper, yes! And it's a three-point game. Just like that. We're back. 
Now Bender nearly loses the dribble. Dishes it off to Frings. Pius looks a little frazzled right now. Now Weiss flow at the top against Terry Bender. Bender got Lynn open on the right, but doesn't go there. Now dishes off to Tierra Bender. Bender gonna dish back. Now over to Fring, she's open for the tray, and she's way long, air ball. Rebound comes down to Bender though, and she gets it to drop. Can't let that happen. And Sydney gets the inbound pass, hounded by Tierra Bender. This is when Pius is most dangerous with that press, but they fan on Sydney. Dish to Luke, she's a woman on a mission. Dish down low to Leonardi, and she is fouled on the way up. She'll get two from the stripe. Oak Creek seems to have more of the pulse, the beat, the drive in this half, if you know what I mean. Correction. Now, Tessa Leonardi with two big free throws. Crowd's got to get quiet now. Here we go. And she dishes it for the first. Back to a four-point game. Got to keep this up. And the second one's a bit long. Rebound comes down to Frings. Four-point game now. Lead, lead for the Popes. Now Bender gonna dish to her left. Borsari, with nowhere to really go. Dish off to Tierra Bender. Dish back to Lynn for the tray. She's way off Brick City. And Weiss blow, bringing it across the half court line. Chance to cut it again. Weiss flow. she's trapped, get there. And Stasinski does, she's gonna drive and can't find running, but it was deflected, so it'll stay on this end. <laughs> now Leonardi to inbound, she can't find anywhere to go, just gets it into Stasinski. Stasinski dishes it off to Weiss Flo, and she is fouled by Terry Bender. That's big, very, very big. That's the fourth against Pius, and I believe that's the fourth, I repeat, the fourth personal against Terry Bender. That's a big loss. Their point guard is on the bench. Still a four point game. 4.17 to go here in the third. Knights with the ball and an opportunity. Good inbound play. Now Sydney Weiss flow, directing traffic. She's done a masterful job here in the second half. Now Dish down low to running, gets it knocked away, but it goes to Leonardi. Leonardi dishes it far side to Stasinski. She goes up and can't get it to drop. And we have a timeout called by Pius. Good call there by Coach Herrick. I'm, wait, hold on. I didn't see a foul there, but they called one against Becky running. So Pius can take it the other way. The lead is four. Just under four minutes to play. Four personal fouls as you see on your screen. That could, that could prove to be large later in the game. If we can draw fouls even on the floor later on, simple as that, get some easy shots with the clock stopped. Now inbound far side, back door to Braun. Poor defense. And it's back to a six point game. But it's not over yet. Not if we got something to say about it. Now Luke on a mission. Kicks it out. Leonardi gonna drive herself up off glass. Can't get it to drop. She gets her own rebound up off glass and good. And it's back to a four point game. That's hustle. That's how you win on the hustle board. Now Tierra Bender directing traffic. One of the benders is always at the point. Now the dish off is to Barsar, Barsar I'll spit on that one, thank you very much. Amanda Braun, now dish off to Fring. She wants a tray but can't get there. Now Bender for a long deuce. And she takes a flop but gets it to fall. Now, now that's, oh no. It was Leonardi that got stuck in the backcourt. And she'll turn it over. That's a key turnover. 2.55 to go. 29 to 23 is our line. Inbound goes to Maria Lynn. Now dish down low to Frings. Frings by Luke. 
And they call a foul. Luke isn't happy, neither am I personally. But that'll be two shots for Frings. That's only Luke's second foul, and that's big. We need her on the floor the rest of the game. Simple as that. She's gonna work harder than she ever has before. And Fring's first attempt is off, that's good. Luke and running, ready to pounce on the rebound. They gotta get to it if she misses. Can't afford a second chance bucket, it's gonna miss. And a rebound comes down to Luke. Now Luke dishes off to Stasinski. Big possession here for Oak Creek, trying to get back in the game. Stasinski gonna cut to her left. She throws a spin move on, goes up off glass, and it rattles out around the world. Tough break there for Abby Stasinski. She made a good move to get to the basket there. In the meantime, Maggie Wilkiel check in. Rebecca Running will sit down with foul trouble. Now Bender will bring it across. Six point game. The Knights are playing with a fire under them in this half. Hands deflected, up into the air. Stasinski with the steal. She'll bring it in, two on one. Leonardi up off glass. No, oh no, oh. Oh, and now another deflection. And a jump ball. Oh, unlucky there. Unlucky there. And Pius will retain possession. Golden opportunity blown there. The hoop just won't have it. Six points is the difference. Seems a lot closer though. The Knights have played much, much better in this quarter. And what's this? A foul off the ball, offensive foul. And Kelly Frings picks up her third. Fifth team foul against Pius. 2.01 to go here in the third. Big, big possession coming up right here. These fans just won't get loud. This team needs some energy. Maybe I should wave my arms, tell them to do something. My boss just rejected that offer. Now Leonardi, trouble on the inbound to Luke in the middle. And she gets it to drop. Back to a four point game, 29-25. Minute 45 to go, left on the clock. Well, obviously. Bender at the top. Just is to the right for Golomski. She's just back into the game. Now Lynn, out to Frings for a triple. No, way off. High into the air, Frings gets the rebound. That's big and that's bad. Golomski dishes it off to Tierra Bender. Second chance opportunities. This is critical. Bender will take it herself. Now she dish off to Golomski, guarded by Stasinski. Now Luke out on Frings. Now on the far side. Now Bender to the middle, up off glass and good. Second chance bucket, not a good thing. One minute to go here in the third. Trouble with the inbounds again. Nice catch by Wilkie, that pass was high and behind her. Sydney will bring it across slowly and carefully. Going up against Golomski. Now. Stasinski, guarded by Bender. Now Barsoli, guards Luke. Wilkie with the jumper, yes! 33 seconds to go. Oak Creek gets the ball to start the fourth. 30 seconds to play. There's a big possession here. Gilmeister, Gomez, and Kaziza prepare to check in in the event of another stoppage. Regardless of what happens on this possession, the Knights are still very much alive. They have shown me something. They have shown me a drive, a beat in this quarter. 11 seconds to go. Bender taking her merry time. Weiss flow on the coverage. Get, avoids the pick. Now Bender gets down low. It's deflected. But right in the hands of Golomski who misses the three. Rebound to Stasinski. That ends the quarter. That's huge. And at the end of three, our score, Pius 31, Oak Creek 27. We got some action due up next. Stay with us.
And we're back with the finale. Four point game, eight minutes left. Leonardi to inbound. Oak Creek with a big chance here. Got to get it in though. Gets it into running. Leonardi going to take it down low herself. Going to cut back out now. Tight coverage from the Pope's defense. Now here's Weissflow. Addition to Stasinski. She's got it tight by Golomski. Now Luke will drive. Here's a dish out to Leonardi. She pump fakes. Dish off to Stasinski. Abby dishes it back to Luke. Around the perimeter trying to go low, but they can't do it right now. And Weiss flow at the top. She's got to try to get into position to try a three. It's got to happen sooner or later. Now Weiss flow going to drive. Kicks over to Stasinski with a jumper. Yes! And it's a two-point game. 7.20 to go here in the fourth. 31-29 to 29 is our score. Now a few of those missed opportunities earlier go our way. This score is different, my friend. Now, Maria Lynn with a jumper, she gets it. And the basket is good. Timeout called by Coach Herrick. 7.05 to go, score 33 to 29. The Oak Creek student section has finally, finally come to its feet. They're gonna get loud now, my friends. This game is alive and well. Leonardi to inbound again. Big inbounds play here. Pope's going with a slightly weaker press. Not as tight as before. They're trying to prevent the run out. Forso Creek into a half court offense. Now Leonardi taking the role of point guard, bringing it across. Throws a spin move. Drive into the lane. Gets stuffed. And rebound comes down to running. Lucky break there for Oak Creek. Now, dish down low to Weiss flow for a train. And she misses badly. Rebound comes down to Leonardi. And they call a double dribble. Oh, my goodness. So close. And yet so far, 6.39 to play. Both sides are getting loud. Now, just to the left for Golomski. Now, dish off to Maria Lynn. Maria at the top, getting hounded. Now Frings is getting hounded by Luke. She tries a long one, and she misses. Rebound to Leonardi, and a foul is called. A push against Julia Basari. That's the sixth team foul against Pius. Oak Creek will shoot from here on in. Excuse me, the foul's on Maria Lynn, but it doesn't matter. Oak Creek is in the bonus. With 6.17 to go, that's something big. Oak Creek has fouls to give, too, only three. And our most important player to keep out of foul trouble, Ashley Luke, only has two to her credit. So she can afford to be aggressive late. That was something she couldn't do in the loss to Franklin. Dish down low to Luke. Out to the top. Abby can't handle it. Now Leonardi shakes her man out. Now Stasinski at the top of the key. Now she'll run to the left. Pass to, to Weissflow. Weissflow wants to drive. Tries to kick. And does to Leonardi for a long two. And it goes! And the crowd loves it. They're going to get loud now. Bender brings it across half court. Huge possession here for Pius. Calling for that defense. Bursari to the right. Bursari drives, goes up, and can't get it to drop. Rebound to Stysinski. Oak Creek with a chance to tie this thing up. I ain't gonna go easy, boss, I don't care. And Leon already got stuffed on the play. Regardless, it's a travel. They always talk about how players need to keep their composure in games like this. Try telling that to announcers, honest to goodness. Bender to bring it across. 
Another chance for Pius to extend the lead. Here's a jumper from mid-range, gets it. Five minutes to go, four point game. Weiss flow to bring it up. Trying to cut into it again. Oak Creek's playing close, the ball is in their court. Luke at the top, she's gotta go somewhere. She wants to kick, now she gets tied up and they call the jump, possession goes to Pius. Ouch. And Leonardi will come in for Gilmeister, just a short break. Gotta rotate that power forward at a time like this. Now Bender to bring it across half court with 4.40 left on the clock, four point game. Now Oak Creek has to play some tight D here. Bender goes to drive, now dish out to Golomski. Can't get the shot off though. Now Frings wants to try a tray, can't get there though. Now Tierra Bender throws a stutter step, goes in, drives, can't get it to drop. Rebound to Leonardi and she got shoved. That's a defensive foul, she's gonna shoot a free throw. Any foul, loose ball or defensive, as long as it wasn't on the offensive glass, will put the Knights on the line. This is a huge front end right here. Tessa Leonardi, silence please. And she couldn't get it to fall. Rebound to Ashley Luke. Up off glass, no good. And it's fumbled out of bounds by Terry Bender. Finally, the Knights get a lucky break. <laughs> Looks like Bender just fumbled it off her foot. Stysinski will come back in for Gilmeister as Coach Lucknick rotates his power forwards. Here we go. Trying to get it down low to running, can't get it anywhere. And it finally ends up in the hands of Luke off the pinball machine. She kicks it out, running for a long two, and can't get it to drop. And they can't get the possession arrow tie up either. And here comes Bender on the drive. She goes up and can't get it to drop. And a foul against, if I'm not mistaken, running. Actually, it was against Leonardi, her second. Bender will go to the line, a fantastic free throw shooter. These are big. And she gets it. Very fluid, straightforward motion. Makes it a five point game. Pius' biggest lead of the quarter. And she makes them both, six point lead. Pius going back to the tight formation. Dish off to Weiss flow. Sydney will bring it across, nice and slow. Try to set something up. Sydney Weiss flow on the dribble. Cuts to a far side. Leonardi with it, moving it fast around the world. Gets it to Luke, and she travels. 3.43 to go in this game. Timeout called by Mr. Lucknick. He'll take a timeout, and so will I. Six. Point game, 3.43 to go. We'll be right back with crunch time in a moment, right here on Night Vision. And this crowd goes bananas, trying to fire some life into this crowd. 3.43 left. Pius with the ball. Big, big set of possessions coming up for Oak Creek. 
Knights have showed a lot of heart in this half. Gonna have to show a little more if they wanna win though. Bender across half court. Dishes it to the near side for the other Bender. Bender being hounded by Leonardi. Tries to dish down low and does. And we have a foul called against Ashley Luke. Looked like a clean steal. And the crowd is chanting things I best not repeat. But it was on the floor, no shots awarded. Now, it goes out to the far side for Frings. Now to Bender. Terry Bender gonna try and drive, set something up. See if she can. Bender kicks it out. Golomski trying to slow play down a little. Now Bender gonna drive, has an open lane, and it kicks it out to Frings for a tray. Yes. And it is now a nine point game, Pius. Pulling it away again. Oh, how this score might be different if a few things had gone our way and if Angela Rodriguez was on the floor. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine what this, is, what this would be like. But I do see some good things thus far, regardless of the end result. I'll uh, say those right after the final buzzer because it's never over until a fat lady sings. Let's hope Coach Lucknick puts some inspiration into this club. And it's in play. Weiss flow, hounded by Bender. Bringing it across, she'll drive. Throws a spin move, kicks out to Stysinski. She won't try the three. She seems kind of afraid to try that shot. It would be a huge benefit if she would, just once. Not just for this game, but for the future ones. See what would happen. Now here's Abby along the perimeter, she'll drive. And we have a foul down low, off the ball. Sydney Weisflow took a shot. And as she's surrounded by Earl Creek teammates, we reflect on the fact that we don't have any guards to spare. She's gotta be on this floor. But she's gonna have to come off. This doesn't look good. And as she's helped off by Ashley Luke and Abby Stasinski, Chandler Gilmeister will check back in. 2.41 to go, nine point Pope's lead. Abby Stysinski will take the free throws. Nails the first, big shot. Eight point game now. And it's good. Back to a seven point game. Oak Creek's not gonna lay down and play dead. No siree. Players on the floor now are Leonardi, Wilkie, Stasinski, Luke, and Gilmeister. Can they step it up in crunch time? Bender. Cuts it to the left, now cut back to the middle, trying to delay some clock while setting something up. Back to the middle for Bender. She's got a wide open man in the corner. Couldn't find her though. Back to the middle, she's got wide open. Oh. I saw Borsari that whole play, but nobody else did. And two minutes to go, 10 point deficit. Here's Stasinski spinning to the middle. Goes up off glass and gets it to drop. Eight point game with a minute 59 to go and Mr. Lucknick will call a timeout. We'll be back with a little more crunch time. See if the Knights can get back in this thing when we return.
Knights going with the full court press. See if they can get that interception. Trying to go for one of the benders, and they do get it into one. Terry Bender, hounded by Weissflo. Man, just to get out of it though, and she is fouled quickly. She had a foul to give, so might as well use it, but now the Popes are in the bonus. They will shoot from here on in. And if anyone you want Frings to do, be doing that shooting, not Terry Bender, AKA that one. And she's gonna drive all the way in. Gonna try to slow it down. Sydney going for the steal. Gotta get the ball away from her, but they can't. Minute 44 to go, eight point game. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule for Oak Creek. This Friday, they will host the Kenosha Tremper Trojans. You can see that game right here on Night Vision, if you can't make it. And then next week, a slate of big games. They will play at what many say is the top dog in the Southeast Conference, the Muskego Warriors. Will be another key test, see if they can figure out what went wrong tonight and fix it, because this team has the talent and the coaching to get this job done. They just have a few things to correct, but once they do, this team is gonna be pretty darn good. Mark my words. Weissflow spins, loses the handle. Now gets it back at the top. Hands it off to Stysinski, and she travels. I say, you can dwell on what this team has done wrong in this game. You can do that as much as you want. But I, for one, say I'm very proud of what they did right. They showed a lot of heart in this game, hands down. And they're not giving up. That's another thing you love to see. Now down low to Tierra Bender. She'll go up off glass and good. And it'll be a 12-point game. The score line does not indicate where this game has been. It was a four point game going into the fourth quarter. Oak Creek had a few chances to tie it up but could not capitalize. Now Gomez along the perimeter back to Luke. Luke trying to get it anywhere. Now Stasinski pump fakes. Abby along the perimeter for Luke. Luke tries to drive, goes up, and gets called for a walk. A lot of traveling violations tonight. Simply the way it has been. And Oak Creek will lay off. Minute three to go. As we commence on this final minute of play, I'd like to thank our terrific crew that worked this game tonight. I'd like to thank our highlights coordinator, Rebecca Wehausen, our cameraman, Leanne Damaris, and Kevin Becker, our technical director, Agapito Valdez, and and all of those on the night vision staff. 35 seconds to go, kick back out. Now over to Bersari. Bersari, gonna kick it off. Golomski will run out, now Bender. Bender with 24 seconds to go. And it appears, well, Knights didn't give up there. And a foul's called against Abby Stysinski. Looked like she had a steal there, but no dibs. 21.6 seconds left. Our score, Milwaukee Pius 47, Oak Creek 35. This game will be in the morning paper, mark my words. And I can, I can just about 90% guarantee that these teams will meet again sometime in the sectional eight playoffs. And just think, if we correct a few mistakes we made tonight and have good old number 23 back on the floor, who knows what might happen. That's why, it's why I see this game as so important. It's a vital gauge to see where we are. And, some, and sometimes you learn more from your losses than from your wins. That's how I look at it. They've done so, so far this year. Two losses, they came back and won their next game. Megan Kaziza getting some floor time to inbound. And she'll bring it up across, 18 seconds to play. She's, she ain't giving up, she wants some points too. Now down low to Wilkie, she'll go up off glass. Won't go, she'll have two shots with 12.7 seconds left.
And as Maggie nails the second, I'd like to say congratulations to the Pious Popes. They played a great game tonight and deserved this win. They're a good basketball team, and they'll be in it at season's end. And a little exclamation point of a block there from Ashley Luke. Perfect ending to a great game. Scoreboard doesn't indicate exactly what this game was, but as it stands, our final score, Milwaukee Pius 49, Oak Creek 36. Again, I'd like to thank my loyal crew and all of us at Night Vision Productions for making it what it is today. For our producer, Mr. Stock, and all of us at Night Vision Productions, this is Christian Bustler signing off. Good night, all. Thanks for watching.